you run a small business, you depend on every dollar. So what happens when a client simply refuses to pay? I spoke with a Better Business Bureau who says you have several options. Take a look. We're with Whitney Quick, the Regional Director of the Better Business Bureau. And Whitney, right now we've got the COVID-19 pandemic going on and small businesses are struggling enough. One less thing they need to worry about is collecting unpaid debts, but unfortunately they're having some trouble out there. But you guys have some tips for them and some examples, correct? Right. So we don't want to be, you know, rude or, you know, asking for something that we know is probably hard for some of our clients to come up with, but also we need to keep in business. So if you've got some unpaid invoices, um, some of the tips that we have are maybe resend your invoices with a polite follow-up message. Always remember, be very polite in this because as we've said before, you know, when the death settles, we are going to remember how we treated each other and how businesses treated um, their clients and consumers and things like that. So we want to make sure that we are putting out positive messages along with the invoices that we're sending. Also, you can reach out by phone or if you safe enough to stop by in person, um, you can do that. But if you're not getting payment for the work that you're doing, stop immediately because we don't want to go any further into debt with a client who's not going to be able to pay. So make sure that you stop um, as soon as you find out if they can't pay you at this time and maybe reconsider in the future whether or not you want to continue. So if you're, you went about it, through these ways and you've not got paid there, you can get a little more aggressive in your attempts to get your money back, correct? Absolutely. So you can consider hiring a collection agency, um, also send an attorney's letter. You can take a client to small claims court. Um, you can seek legal action. I would definitely recommend that if you were in that position and if it is a significant amount of money, talk to a lawyer figure out if this is something that you want to do. Also, Better Business Bureau does arbitration and mediation. So if this is something that we can help you with, you can go to bbb.org and we can do that for you. Um, and also decide whether or not you want to continue with this working relationship with the client. Okay, and these are all good tips. And you guys have this up on your website too, some links, correct? Absolutely. And then finally, make sure that you have a solid contract because that's going to help you uh, be able to go after any money that's owed for you. Um, so if you need any help with that, there's plenty of resources out there. We can definitely help you find any lawyers if you do need somebody to look over that at bbb.org. Um, but also, maybe even get paid a substantial deposit up front. And that may help um, That may help you in the long run with this. Well, great advice as always. We're gonna have this up on our website as well. Whitney, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.